Alright, here in part 12 of the Super Mario 64 walkthrough, I'll be finally taking advantage. Not finally, because I just found out about it. Shut up, phone. Shut up, answering machine. Hopefully you don't hear that. Um, but anyways, because of this, I probably would have done 15 minutes, but... Alright, we'll do 15 minutes, hopefully. We'll, we'll never know, depending on where I end up with stars. Probably end up somewhere around like 14, maybe, something like that. So right here, for real, I'm going to be getting the 8 red coins because the last time I skipped ahead went and got the Metal Mario cap. Just because that's more fun and I love, I'm obsessed with the Metal Mario theme, so might as well do that. Careful there, Mario. Banging your head in the wall is not good for you. You're retarded enough. You don't need you any more demented. So you gotta, this thing's kind of annoying uh, and you're going to have some obstacles along the way that you're going to have to jump on this pad without hitting the buttons. Uh, some of the coins will be in these boxes right here that you're gonna have to punch. You have to be pretty quick. Get that coin. Okay, go back. There we go. It's kind of hard to judge death there. Wow. Coin two. Six more. They're all in this room, which is nice and convenient for you. Don't get hit by that eyeball. Whatever that is. I don't even know. That's some weird liquid that comes out of his eyes. I feel bad for him. Careful there. Careful there. These things got it. Those little tricky, little tricky to jump over. That gotta admit, I'm not the greatest um, Mario jumper with this D-pad. This D-pad, I'm getting a little bit more friendly with. Not, not 100%. Still, uh, friendship's a little shaky still. So this is the third coin. Uh, you're gonna have four of them on this first level. What I mean is the other levels practically in the air too. Uh, but it's above you. I'm not gonna look at it right now. Uh, but you have to take a elevator type thing to get the other four red coins. So, so we'll be going back to this thing. I'd probably jump off right now and go to it, but might as well stay on. And if you leave this platform that you're riding on, it will disappear and it will go back to its normal position. Uh, just to make it a little bit more difficult so you're not like just chilling out on platforms trying to get coins. So what you want to do to get to the next floor is get on this ride. Oh, no, get on it, not fall off of it, Mario. Where's Luigi when I need him? I want Luigi here. I've been playing a lot of Super Mario Strikers lately. Nasty game. I'm obsessed with it. Such a good game. Um, but I'm always Luigi. I mean, I like Mario. I respect Mario a lot more than Daisy and Peach and crap. Um, but Luigi's just rocking it. I mean, <laughs> Luigi, how can you get any better than Luigi? He's so stupid, he can't be afraid of anybody. That's the purpose, the perfect thing when he's playing sports. He can't be intimidated because he doesn't know what's good and what's bad. Just because he's so, so just un unbelievably dumb. And so is the lag. That's dumb as well. There we go. Man, I am, I am really grateful for this new 15-minute thing because when I have more, now I have so much more time. That that's it. Every. Every other video I make, so if I make two videos now, that would be three videos normally. That just makes it so much easier, day-to-day -day basis. I can finish games a lot quicker. You can do, I mean, just everything. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you. I like how you, I like how you're thinking now. You're thinking on your feet for me. So once again, we got on this platform. You're gonna be punching these boxes to uh, get out of the way. You're not really gonna be getting coins through them. These coins are pretty easy, at least that number five is, if you do it in my order. Uh, you got another one, you gotta jump over this ledge. You gotta jump over a couple of them. That's a weird design. It's pretty cool though for that thing to sneak through. It's a tight fit, but it works. Just time it and you shouldn't fall off. Get away, Zubat! Get away! At least be a Crobat for me, something interesting. I don't wanna see a Zubat flapping around me. Spastic Zubats. So stars are coins 7 and 8, and just gotta jump down a lower level and somehow not, and just, you have know, an easy time not killing yourself, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. And there we go, with the second, or 36 star, third star we've gotten in this course. I believe it's technically the second star, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll be jumping back into the metallic pool of death. And I would never jump into that thing if I was Mario. He just... Why would why would it be that why would it be like that for him to jump into a hazy maze cave in the first place? I mean, I'm pretty sure he would suffocate if he jumped into there. Do a long jump. You've been doing it the whole walkthrough. Thank you. 
I don't know what the designs are on the flipping doors. Uh, hopefully, not a lot of people. There was one person, DDI Gent. I can always, uh, I can always, uh, count on you to understand my humor and to get my jokes or get my intended jokes or titles or whatever. But not a lot of people got my blow Nessie out of the water. So apparently they haven't been watching Holy Dynamite or haven't watched it in their life. So what you want to do to, anyway, I'll talk about it later. What you want to do to get this star is you want to launch yourself uh, over into this water after you get the metal cap, which should appear right next to you once you get down off that elevator. And you want to take this path that was conveniently drawn out for you to the switch. Step on the switch. Swim to the surface so you can get healed up a little bit. And from here, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, it can be a little tricky timing and a little, little tricky uh, spatially. Um, but wait for that spider to jump out. Long jump to the first ledge. Take your time, get directed, and long jump across. So here it is, 37th star, the third star, and of course, six. Once again, another simple star if you know where you're going. Uh, and once again, I bet they intended this to be more of a maze than it was, because the only part of the level is the actual maze, and they give you a map at the very beginning, so you guess you can use that as well. So we're going to be nav navigating this toxic maze now. Once again, it's not very toxic. I mean, if Mario can stay alive in it for quite some time, it's not a big deal. Uh, but once we get into this maze, you'll see what I mean by uh, his, his power meter not going down very quickly. And you can also uh, use uh, the metal cap, which will prevent the toxic toxins from getting to you, which I found pretty interesting. Definitely the best cap in the game. And you can also look at that map really quickly to understand where you got to go as well, but not really necessary if you just run around. And once again, the terribly drawn Shy Guys that look like, or at least Yamion, or however, uh, sorry if I butcher your name, uh, but I know you, who you are, uh, explained to me that they're probably Shy Guys. I just, wouldn't, I just didn't want to pull myself to believe that they were Shy Guys in the first place, because it's so terribly drawn compared to the normal shy guys that I know. So you want to take the Metal Mario cap and go through the cave. You'll see a door uh, up on a ledge. There's two of the door, two doors that you're going to you're gonna find. Either one you can go to. You can do either star fit or uh, fourth or fifth in whatever order you want to. So what you want to do from here is jump in the air, hold A in order to stay on these bars, or monkey bars if you will. Mario bars. Just take your time, follow the coin path. And you shouldn't fall off from here, you should be okay. The turn is probably the hardest part, make sure no Zubats come and get you. And once you see your shadow over the ledge, drop yourself down. And get your 38 star. Easy as that. So we'll be jumping in this pool one more time in this video. Uh, obviously, we'll be having to go back here to get 100 coins, which I won't be getting at this point. But uh, I love Hazy Maze Cave. I like the music. Uh, it's pretty relaxing. It's got a nice layout. And obviously it has Nessie, so... Good thing no Japanese scientists blew Nessie out of the water. And Sir Godfrey and some local wizards were there to help us. And no one gets that reference. I'll be pressed and possibly... Possibly have to throw my laptop on the ground right now and sever its head from the body, which I would just cry if that happened, actually. It's a very cheap laptop that has been lasting me a lot. It has 67 gigabytes of, of memory or of hard drive space. For, vid for making videos, that's just treachery. But it's, it's working, though. So, we have to find the other ledge in this part. Uh, the other ledge will have another door for us. I believe this is the route we have to take. Oh, it's over here. Uh, but once you jump, find that ledge, you can easily jump onto it, uh, go through the door, and there's going to be a little path that you're going to be taking uh, to the star that we're going to be looking at. Alright. Yeah, it's over here. It's over. Remember, it's in the same path. So there it is. Am I oh, it did not make it. What's going on, Mario? Get out of the ditch. Get out of the ditch. No! The toxins are going to eat you alive, Mario! Get out of the ditch! Come on! Come on! This is a struggle. I gotta tell you, this is one heck of a struggle. Thank... Thank... Thank you. Thank you, son. So go through this door. 
probably worn out. He's been freaking jumping for years. But we have oxygenated coins to heal him up. Right up this elevator that looks like there's a light in it, but I don't think there is. Nice caution tape around it. And there was that tantalizing star that we saw earlier, and we can finally get it. So for our 39 star, we take care of that right here. And we should have time. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have time to go for another star. Thank you, YouTube, for extending it to 15 minutes for me. Well, we're going to head out here. And I am going... What should I do? What should I do? Huh. Too many things to decide from. Too many things. Let's chase Mr. Bunny. Let's get the bunny for reals this time. Go back to Alice in Wonderland. I don't want to be chasing you no more. Toad, get out of the way. Help me chase him. Help me chase him, Toad. We got a bunny on the loose. So, Mushroom King does most wanted. I don't know why this bunny makes sense. It's just such a random addition to the game. It's like, oh, we'll throw a bunny in there and let Mario chase him around for a star. But, I mean, as much as that random, it's quite hilarious and it's quite an easy star. Uh, I don't look, I don't, I'm not making it look easy right now, but... It's definitely not one of the more stressful stars. It can be one of the very aggravating stars. Very, very aggravating. And I've gotten very aggravated doing this. More so than probably the first nine cor eight courses. I mean, Shifting Sandland, I tend to hate that one at some points. Get back here, bunny! I'm gonna rape this bunny. I'm gonna rape this bunny. Once again, Pete is on my tail for pa ground pounding Nessie and now chasing a bunny in water. Oh, I almost had ya. No! I don't have a... Uh, I want to get another another freaking star in this video. I almost got it without even diving. Wow, that would have been quite a feat. I'd be cutting corners there. Come on! Aggravating. Aggravating! That, that thing's just flopping around. Thank you, Mario. Nice diving stop. I'm late, I'm late, the shiny thing mine, no, no, this is a weird bunny, where's my tea? Where's my tea, fool? Oh, I get a star, so even better, thanks for watching part 12, and I'll be using the 15 minute marker from now on, I'm getting some more stuff done.